everybody. Welcome, welcome everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a blessed Sunday, everyone. And if you are here, please just let me know you're here and put in the comments, hello, Kim, so I can say hello back. Hello, everybody. I'm Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's. And if you're watching it and you don't see that red light button there, that means you're watching it on the replay. And if you could just put in the comments for me, hashtag replay so I know you're watching also and I can give you a shout out and say hello and if you're new even on the replay let me know that you're new and I can say hello to you happy Sunday everyone I have some exciting happy mail to show you so I wanted to come on and show you all the fun stuff that we'll be using in the next couple of lives that I'm going to be doing hello Lori happy Sunday everyone hope you're having a blessed day hey Carrie hello Diane and remember, if you're new, please just let us know so we can welcome you to yesterday's tomorrow's. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. That's fantastic. Hello, Brenda. That'll get um, some more of our fancy friends um, to be able to join us. Hey, Jacqueline, how are you? How's England today? Hello, Marianne Jackson. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks everybody for joining me. Okay, so let's get to it. Hello, Paula. Uh, I got happy mail from two places. Hello, Holly. Happy Sunday, everyone. It's a beautiful day here in New Jersey. A little cold, but it's sunny. Hello, Kathy Hope, and hello, Guad we are Guadalupe is from California. Welcome, California. Hello, Pam. All right, so let me first show you what I got from Decoposh Queen. Hello, Amy. Thanks for sprinkling. I so appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. All right, so um, they came out with a couple of new papers, so I wanted to show you. Um, it's you can buy them on the Decoposh Queen website. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Hello, Connie. But it's by the company. This is the company. If you're going to order, when you go on Decoposh Queen, you got to look at this, this brand, Columbo. I don't even know how you say it. And Anne Marie is new from Tampa. Hello. Welcome, Anne Marie. Everybody, welcome, Anne Marie, to our page. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. All right. So let me show you. Look, these are just so pretty. So let's get started. Hello, Susan. Hello, Sandra. <clears throat> look, guys. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Hey, Luann. How are you, sweet fancy friend? All right. This one is called... Oh, you know what? These are numbered. This is TT105. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, Debbie Gibson. Hello. It, wait. It, no, Debbie... My eyes, I'm sorry, I got old eyes. Stancliff. Sorry, Debbie. Debbie Stancliff. Hello. Um, all right, but if you go on the if you go on the Decoposh Queen, my link is down below. Look for this company, uh, you know, in the in the um in the drop box, you'll see that, and then you can find them all. Okay, but look at guys. <gasps> Stunning, isn't that one so pretty? This is I, I think this is probably one of my favorites. <gasps> that is beautiful paper. Yes, it's TT105. I wish they put names on it. They don't. They put number. This one, this company has numbers. All right. This is TT109. I feel like I'm bingo names. Bingo. Hi, Betty. How are you? Hey, Marlene. Look at this, guys, with the roses. Isn't that beautiful? Now, you know, when you have this right here, you don't have to use the whole sheet. If you just wanted to cut out, like, look at this beautiful rose. If you just wanted to cut that rose out and put it on one project, you could. Oh, I'm glad you're doing well, Susan. I know, look at that paper. Okay, so that's 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 beautiful. Hold on. Uh, there you go. All right. I know, it's Vince Vincenzo. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, and now look at... All right, I said the other one might be my favorite, but I don't know. This is close second. Um, TT111. Look at that one, guys. Isn't that stunning? Just stunning. Hey, Terry, how are you? Hello, Debbie. Just stunning, stunning, stunning. Just beautiful. So we're going to be, th these are these are going to be for some of my fall, my fall, oh my God, fall. We didn't get to spring, spring projects. All right, now look at this one, ladies. Oh my God, look at that. This is the one we're using today on our, on our project. This is it with the strawberries. And look at the little girl right there. Isn't that so gosh darn cute? Beautiful, beautiful. Hello, thanks for stopping by, Terry. I appreciate it. Hey, Carrie, don't you love all of them? Look at this one. Now, this one I'm going to try to find a like a crate or something like that. Um, it's the tomatoes, burpees. I remember like, that's the name of the brand of the seeds that we get around here. And seeds that grow. Look at that, guys. But this, I think, would be pretty on a um, like a wooden crate. 
Wouldn't this be pretty on a wooden crate? Love them. Love them. The, this is just a few of them. I couldn't buy them all. So if there's, if you just go on their website, you'll find more there too. Yes, we're getting, guys, we're, I'm getting a snowstorm tomorrow. Whoa, finally. <laughs> you guys are probably so sick of hearing me say, I don't get any snow this year. We're getting snow tomorrow. I think about four inches. I'll take it. <laughs> this is TT84. Look at this beautiful one. Pansies. Pansies are my favorite for this, my first flower that we get around here. Love that one. Isn't that one so pretty? Now, like I said, there are more on there. I just couldn't buy them all to show you guys. So if you go on, there's more to pick from. And these are sweet peas. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Sweet peas. I just picked out my favorites. Some of, well, there's some more of my favorites on there too. But like I said, I just picked out a couple of them. Look at this one right here. Isn't that cool? Gorgeous, so pretty. Now remember, you don't have to use the whole thing. You can just cut out that circle if you wanted to just use that circle. Put the flower someplace else. Here's some wording right here. You could use the words for something else. You love pansies too. My favorite are um, yellow and purple because they remind me of my grandmother. When we would go over my grandmother's house, she always had the purple and yellow ones. So now Kim, this might be my favorite, the sweet peas. I know, but I keep saying that's my favorite. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. But here we go. Look at this one. Oh, I don't know. Maybe this is my favorite. Look at that one. Isn't that so pretty? Now, these are not very expensive, ladies. I'm not sure exact price. I think they're like three and change. Um, so they're pretty expensive to make a beautiful project with. But look at that. Gorgeous. Look at that. Love it. Love it. Love it. You know I like pansies because, look, I picked out another one. I picked out another pansy. Look at that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Kathy, right? Love those pansies. Now, can you tell the pansies? I picked out three, three different pansy ones. Oh, wait a minute. I picked out another pansy. I picked out another pansy. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize I did that. That's how much I love them. Here's another one. This, this one looks very vintagey to me. Doesn't that look vintagey? It's gorgeous paper. Now, now remember, these are these are rice papers, ladies. These are decoupage rice papers. They're not tissue paper. They're rice papers. So they're easy to apply. Um, they do not. Most of the time, they do not wrinkle. Which you know me, I love the wrinkles. But um, they're easy to lay down. You don't have to worry about anything like that. The most sometimes you might get a little bubble. You push it out, a little air bubble in there. But then you just squeeze, squeegee it out. Oh, that's the same one. Okay. So that is it. Well, those are the ones that I got from the Decoupage Queen. Like I said, um, I think the link should be down below. Um, I hope so. Guys, let me know. Give me hearts if the link, if you could see the link tree down below. If you hit the link tree button, it'll pop up all the different um, categories and you'll find Decoupage Queen on there. I know the colors are magnificent. I, I'm, I'm telling you. But, you know... All decoupage papers are not created equal, and I'm I'm telling you that. Some, the colors aren't as vibrant. They're very muted. These are amazing. They really are. All right, so let me show you. Now, this is the one. This is the one we're going to use today. But while I got another happy mail from my friend Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara, her link is up on top. Um, I tagged her page if you're interested in these stamps. IOD just came out with um, a new spring collection of stamps, transfers, stamps, transfers. Um, what else did they come out with? Stamps and transfers and, oh, and inlays. So where can I find the race paper? Sue, down below, you'll see, a, you'll see a button for Linktree. Open that up and look for Decoupage Queen. And it's right there. But when you go on the Decoupage Queen site, this is the company you're going to look for. They have a bunch of companies that she carries their papers. This is the company you're going to be looking for right there. Okay? So if you have any other questions, just ask me. So I just got this. Ah! So you know me. I love my stamps. Hello, Mary. How are you? I love my stamps. So these are only two of the stamps that they just came out with. And let me show you. Now, we're not going to work with these today. We're going to be working with these tomorrow. So if you, I'm going to be on Craft Around the Clock tomorrow. Um, I think it's 145. I will post it, guys. Um, and we'll be using the stamps tomorrow. This one is called Antiques. Oh, sorry, guys. Back 
words. Antiques, look at that. Aren't they, look at the ones, look at them. If they got the, let me show you. Let me put it up close. These are super duper pretty. Can you see? Look at the rose, That look at that stamp with the roses. Um, look at that with the beehive. These are, these are, so, Sort of like the crockery ones, but with, with different words, which I like. Guys, look at the bicycle. What does the bicycle say? Oh, I don't know. It's in French. <laughs> but anyway, look at the bicycle. Isn't that super duper cute? Look at that. We, we've got the rooster. Um, we've got the horse. It's got some wording. Look at that. These are going to be, I love these little medallions. You know what these medallions are great for? If you want to put a medallion, say like, say there was no hand, there's no top on here. Put the, stamp the medallion and then put a, um, a, uh, like a knob right there. Perfect for that. So that's one of them. So love this one. So this one is called Antiques. Let me put it down here on the floor. Get it out of the way. And then this one is really cool. This one is called, I don't even know how you say it. it La, La Campaign. La Campaign. Now, I didn't open this one up yet, so I'm going to be looking at this for the first time, just like you ladies are. So let's open it up together. And this one is a two set. Did you see that one? It just had that one, one um, set, you know, just one page. This one has two, two sheets in it, guys. Two sheets. So oh, I was so thrilled when I got this yesterday in the mail or today, this morning. I went out to get my mail this morning. I didn't go get it yesterday. Okay, so let me show you what this one is. <gasps> look, guys. Oh, my gosh. Would you look? <gasps> look at that. Look at the, look at, you've got the roosters. You've got, look at the, look at, oh, I can't even, look how pretty. Look at those flowers. Look at those. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Look at the look at the little chicken with her little chickadees. <laughs> with her children. Oh my goodness. And then you've got some cows. You got a cow up here. Oh, and gee, is this one wonderful? Oh my gosh. Okay, now look at this one. These are bigger. The rose is gorgeous. Isn't it, Luann? I know. Terry, hello Terry, how are you? I didn't say hello. Do you, I didn't see you. I didn't see you come in, honey. Look at the detail. Look at, look at this rooster. Now I saw somebody use this rooster the other day. When you go to stamp it, you should see the detail in that rooster. It's, as my friend would say, amaze balls. Amaze balls. It's just amazing. Look at that, and then. Oh, oh my god look at that i don't know maybe we'll have to do some kind of a stamp today that's a um strawberry i didn't even realize that would have a strawberry in there. that's a strawberry guys oh and then you've got a little look at that little flower right there so i don't know which one of these would be my favorite if i had to choose now they i think they have oh they had a couple more new ones, so hmm. I know you love that rooster, Betty, right? It's so pretty. So um, we're gonna we're not gonna be using these today. We're gonna just be decoupaging today. Um, but maybe I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we'll we will use that little um, stamp. Let let's get let's let's see how the project goes. And if it needs a stamp, we'll put a stamp on it, and we'll use this this, this strawberry one. Hey, Nora, how are you? Luann, you might have to place another water. <laughs> oh, the flowers in Morning Glory. Well, thank you, Betty. I'm, I'm not very good with the flower names. Morning Glory. Thank you. Isn't it beautiful? Oh. So anyway, up in the description above, you'll see Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. Hit that link. It takes you to her Facebook page. If you're on her Facebook page, follow her if you don't already. She's wonderful. She's a sweet friend of mine. And um, you'll see her uh, a link to her website. Have you ever done a paint and lay? Not yet, Luann. I've been watching videos of it so I can get more, know how to really do it more. But um, I want to try it. It looks so fascinating. Hey, Jerry Lynn, how are you? So anyway, so that's my Happy Meal. So anyway, let me just show you what I got. My, Of course, my sister Carrie got this for me. It is a real antique milk jug, milk container. Um, I... I'm not really up on the antique stuff, but um, they say that this is how they carry their milk in. Hello, Jerry Lynn from oh, uh, Iowa. How are you? So this is this is this is the real McCoy 
It's a little bent up. Love that it's all, look at that. It's all bent in there and stuff like that. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So we're going to paint it, but we're just going to do a dry brush. I don't want to cover up all of this stuff. Like, I like the little rust darts there. Don't you love this tin? I know my sister Carrie, she got it for me the other day. She's always out and about finding stuff. Actually, she found me baby shoes yes, or today. She found, no, they're, they're, not, they're toddler shoes, not baby shoes. She goes, I don't know if you want them. So we got toddler shoes that we're going to do something with soon. So, ah, so excited. All right, so what we're gonna do is let's, I'm just gonna use Arctic White and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a dry brush, guys, over it. Um, just to just to put a little bit of white in there. Cause when you decoupage, you're supposed to um, put white on there so, so, you're, so it pops. And I really want all the colors to pop. So I know I'm gonna put the paper here more so I'm going to add a little bit more white there and then see this bottom here is the bottom's going to go on the back. Lolita how are you? Hello from Missouri. Thanks for stopping by today. I know everybody's busy on a Sunday going to church and all that so I appreciate you guys stopping by. She found me some goodies. She did. She did. Friday she found me. Uh, oh my god. Um, it's a it's from Breakstone. It's an old, it's a uh, wooden cream cheese, um, a, a wooden box that they put the cream cheese in she, she got for me. So she, she finds me all kinds of cool stuff. Cool. So actually, um, she was one of the winners, believe it or not. And they don't know she's my sister. So it wasn't like uh, it was planned or anything like that. Um, on Essential Stencils page when I was on there yet the other day. And thank you, ladies, for coming and um, joining me. I had a lot of fun. Um, she was one of the winners of a stencil. <laughs> Is that funny? Where do you get that beautiful print? This is from Decoupage Queen Lolita. If you go down below, you see my link tree. Hit hit that button. The link tree will open up and you'll see Decoupage Queen. And if you're just coming by, guys, this is a Decoupage Queen. You have to, have to hit the drop down button there and look for this brand, Calambor. Calambor is the name of the brand. They, Decoupage Queen has her own um, set of Decoupage papers that she creates. And then she carries some other... Um, I call them artists, you know, if you can make beautiful paper like that, um, other people's brands. So, and we have Linda. Good evening. It's, um, evening already. What time is it here? A little after three. It's in the middle of the afternoon. I figured I'd come on this time. Maybe it's right before it's after church. It's before dinner. So, oh, you got your stencil stencil order. Yay. I was on their site the other day. I was going to order more stuff, but I can't stop. <laughs> I had to stop me. That to stop me, Kim. Enough, enough. All right, so let's just put a little bit of paint. See, I'm just, if you could see, I'm just doing a dry brush, especially right around the, right here where I want the paper to pop. I'll put a little bit darker because you're going to cover it with the paper anyway. So, there we go. And then around here, just going to just do it very lightly. Very, very lightly. See, now around the sides, I'm doing it very lightly. Now we're gonna put some more paper around here. So I'm gonna do it a little bit harder it's because I want the paper to pop. Hello everybody, and I see some new people on here. If you're new, let us know that you're new because if you're new, we welcome you to Yesterday's Tomorrow. So let us know that you're new. And remember the first time you show up, you're a, you're a newbie. Second time you show up, you're automatically a fancy friend. All right, and this we're just gonna go light. That's it, guys. One, two, three. It's e as easy as that. Okay, so see, it's and I even have some of the metal showing through, but I just did that just because I want the paper to pop. There we go. Hey, Cindy. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so let me just dry this a little bit, and then we're going to put this beautiful paper on. Thank you, Cindy, for sprinkling. I appreciate it. Whew. Thanks so much, actually. Let's let that dry by itself. It should probably be dry by the time I do it. Um, let me see. Now I'm going to want to, okay, doesn't matter which side is the front, which side is the back. I don't think it makes a difference. Okay, so I just want to see, we're gonna put that there and how much I have to cut off. There we go. All right. And let me get my scissors and we're just gonna give this a cut.
My better half says that no way we'll craft on that. I know. I mean, uh, I know some people are like, don't ruin the, the in, you're ruining the antique part of it. I'm like, I know, but it's going to be, I'm making it pretty. I'm make, going to make it pretty. All right. So there we go. And I'm just going to be cutting off these edges right here, these white edges. And then I'm just going to tear it. Remember, we don't want anything to look like it's, we want this to on here. And we want this to look like it is, it's been on there forever. And who else we have watching? We have Leslie. Hello, Leslie. And we got Marilyn on here. Thank you, everybody. And remember, if you want to make sure you get notifications to see me or any other crafter or whoever, um, you, you have to make a couple of comments or Facebook's not going to think that you're interested and they will not um, give you a notification or put the person in your feed. Found that out the other day. And Lolita, you're a newbie. Everybody, welcome. Welcome, welcome Lolita. Thank you. Hi, Linda. Hey, Sherry Grimson. How are you? All right, we're just drying this. Okay, that's dry enough. All right, so let me see where that's going right here. Just like that. And hold on, I just gotta stand up, ladies. Okay. Alrighty, let me just get my. Huh, I don't know what I did with my water pen. I had a water pen, don't know what I did with it. That's okay. We're just gonna take our. You know what it was? I think my water pen was empty and I never filled it. Ah, oh, hey Sharon. Hey Karen. How are you? Thanks for coming by today. So let's just take our, like if you don't have a water pen, guys, you just take your, um, you know, just take your brush and you just tear it just like that. I just wanted to, I, I want it to look rustic. I don't want this to look like it's been on there forever. There we go. And see how I kind of went inside like that. So I don't want it to look perfect. And make it personal lettering. Hello from Ohio. Thank you everybody for welcoming the newbies. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. You guys are always amazing welcoming everybody to our page. Remember guys, this is um, this is just not my page. This is all of your page. If it wasn't for you, there would no, not be yesterday's tomorrow's. We have Regina from Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia. Welcome Regina. Is anybody else getting snow tomorrow? I mean, you wait till you see everybody in New Jersey now because we're getting our first snowstorm. They're all going to be running to the supermarkets. Oh, I got to get bread. I got to get milk. I'm never coming back out of the house again. <laughs> oh, hi, Nora. Yeah, you love the strawberries. Me too, right? How pretty is that going to be? I think, guys, I'm going to try to um, um, grow my own strawberries this year. I've been watching, does anybody watch QVC? I just watch it when I have nothing else to do. And they have some gardening and they were having strawberry plants. And I'm like, that doesn't look so hard to do. Has anybody grown their own strawberries? Let me know and if, let me know if it's hard to do. <laughs> I tried my own tomatoes last year. I don't know. Yes, one storm for us, that's it. So, but you know, Luann, everybody goes crazy when they hear that, you know, you, you might not ever get out again. All right, there we go. I just want to make sure, yeah. And that is going to be little guys. Look how cute. And I think I want, I don't, I think I'm going to cut through the bottom a little bit. Um, there we go. I don't want that to look flat on there. There we go. I love the way rice paper rips. It, it always rips jaggedy and I love that yeah that looks pretty when growing strawberries you need to grow so many just to have oh really Linda oh I don't want to do that you know if it's not worth the effort and I can go to my neighborhood farm stand you know I don't know I did tomatoes last year oh I got a lot of what they call uh, root rot <laughs> I don't know I was trying to ask our, if you know her, Frame It and Contain It by Shana. She's wonderful. If you don't know who she is, please go check out her page. She's so sweet and she knows everything about gardening and she's trying to help me out. Use a stir pot and the produce a lot. All right, Luann. I don't know. I think I'm, I think it's worth a shot. I don't know. There we go. 
All right, let's put that on. All right, so now, of course, I'm using my favorite Paint Couture Decoupage Medium, and I'm using flat because if anything spills, comes out of here, I don't want it to give it any kind of, you know, shine or, or gloss to it, so. All right, let me just mix that up. There we go, and let's put this on. This is gonna look so super duper cute. And let me get my brush, okay. So let's put her, now remember when you're decoupaging, you wanna go, um, you don't wanna put a lot of product on, you don't need it. You just need a thin coat and it'll stick and it'll be fine. The thicker you put it on, the more trouble you have with your paper laying flat, getting air bubbles, um, the whole bit. And we have Dawn from Idaho, it's snowing there, yay! Did they, they grew this tall as that? Oh my God. I did a, pat, they're, called, they're called patio tomatoes because uh, there's an, uh, we have deer and I, I'd have to put up a, build a fence and all that. And um, boy, I don't know, they just didn't do well. I didn't get that many of them. They got a lot of root rot. So um, our deer that I threw down, you know, down far away um, so they could eat them, <laughs> the, the ones that had the root rot. All right guys, so let's put this down. Let's go right here. I should have told my sister to come on while I was using what, the thing that she bought me. There we go. So now you just go in, now I'm just taking my, my, um, my decoupage and putting a coat right on top. Now I'm going from one side and then to the other side. Hey, Vicki, how are you? Thanks for coming on. Thank you everybody for, you know, I wasn't sure. I know Saturday, Sundays is a busy family day and normally I don't come up on a Sunday. I really don't. I think Sundays are family day. Um, spend time with my family, but my husband's working today. <laughs> my son's at school. I got happy mail and I had to show you. So here I am. So I'm thrilled to be here with you ladies. You keep me, uh, my family, fancy friends, family keep me uh, happy. And so I love being here with all of you. So here I am today. Oh, look how cute. Whose husband said they didn't want me to do that? Maybe when he sees the finished product, he'll be like, you know what? That looks cute. There we go. I can't wait for my mom. Now my sister might want this after she sees that. After she sees, she goes, what are you going to do with that? I said, you'll see. You'll see. Actually, she got this from the place where I had my booth called Gray Barn antiques in Andover, New Jersey. Now remember I told you that they every, oh, I think it's Wednesday night, they have a Facebook Live and they do a sale, they do sale, the sales and they do ship. So if you want to go check them out um, and watch them, they have stuff, great prices on all antique stuff and they will ship no matter where you are. So there we go. Look how cute. Oh, <laughs> my sister Carrie's on here. Hey, Carrie. Everybody say hello to Carrie. Carrie, look how cute. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Adorable. Oh, Carrie, I'm glad you're on. I wanted you to see. Oh. I told them, Carrie, that you got me today those, um, well, I wouldn't call them baby shoes, but toddler shoes. You know, the, you know, the antique one, so I can't wait to, to see them. Oh, Dawn, our friend um, Shana, she does a lot of canning. A lot of canning. She does lives on it, too. I know. Isn't that so darn cute? Oh my God, this is going to look cute in my kitchen. Or, Carrie, I would say you're probably going to want it for your house. Okay, I'm just going to dry this so I can do the other side. Give it a quick dry. That's, a, that's adorable. All right, now, so now we're on the other side, we're gonna put this right here. Look how cute that is. And let's see what we got. Um, all right, so let's cut, let's cut the, the edges off first. So get that out of the way. Now, if you're interested, this is, it was called TT62. There's no name for it, guys. TT62, you can screenshot it. This is, the, it's Decoupage Queen, and Decoupage Queen sells this brand, okay? If you're interested. And they, this this company just came out with a bunch of new ones. So um, I, could, I didn't purchase them all, so what I'm showing you is just the ones that I kind of caught my eye. So if you go on there, you could check out, they have, they came out, she came out with a bunch of new ones. Okay, so let's 
So let me go where we go with that. Okay, so I want to make sure I get that little girl's got to get in there. Okay. All right, so let's, where is my brush? Okay, let me put the water again. And let me see, I, we need the little girl in there. I mean, cause she's super duper cute. So let's get her in there. It's like so. And we got greetings from North Carolina. You just came on, well, welcome. Thanks for coming on. Carol, you might want to catch the beginning of the replay. I was showing some of the happy mail that I got from Decoupage Queen and from Vintage Retail Therapy by Marim. I, I got my new um, IOD molds that I was showing everybody. Okay, so what I'm doing, guys, I'm just trying to... Okay, there's the little girl. And then I think now what I'm going to do is then just go... You can see where this part is, and I'm just going to go around there just like that. Okay. Let's see. I gotta find, I gotta make sure. I gotta, the water pens are so much easier. You don't get so much water. So I gotta fill up my water pen, guys. All right, so if you look at this, okay, so you got a little bit of the strawberry that's coming down from here. So I'm gonna kind of go down in a, like that so that's not there. Cause it sort of looks like the strawberry is like, is cut there. And I want, I don't want that to be there. Okay, so let's get this. Let's get the strawberry out of there. And you just go around it and you just tear it. And if the rice paper is wet, it tears really easily. And what's gonna be good about this is that when I'm tearing it here, this is really gonna make it look like, um, you know, it was on there for a while. And we got a leaf here from the strawberry plant. So we'll get that off of there. There we go. See, there, there we go. And now it looks like it's all edged out. Pam, you love the stamps and paper, I know. So if you go on her website, um, they came out with other ones, the IOD. Those are just two that caught my eye. And um, I thought that I could do a lot with. But there's other ones, too, and I just forget. And then they had some really pretty transfers, too, um, that they had. So you might just want to go on her website and just check them out. But they came out really cool. I tagged her, I was hoping that Mara would come on, but I know she said, Mara's in California, so she, um, um, you know, it's a different time zone. I know she was going to church this morning. So it's, well, I don't know, it's about afternoon, I guess, in California now, I think. I think. All right. Sometimes I wanna call her and I'm like, oh, it's only seven o'clock in the morning for her. <laughs> All right. Guys, look how cute that is. Is that adorable or what? I'm loving that. Okay, perfect. That's going to be good. All right, so now let's get our decoupage medium. And remember, I use Pink Couture decoupage medium. I'm using flat only because I, if any of it spills out, you know, gets on it, the can, I don't want it to have any shine or anything like that. Let's go up right there. And Sherry, this is your first time. Welcome, Sherry. Everybody, welcome, Sherry, to our page. Sherry, I'm so glad you're here today with us. And just so you know, the first time you come on, you're a newbie. Second time you show up, you become an automatic fancy friend. You become a fancy friend and become one of our family. Hey, Nancy Gordon, how are you? So, so glad you're here today with us. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm putting this in the middle there. Okay, so now we got it down just like that. Now I'm just taking my brush. And going from in the middle and then going from one end to the other end. Yes, it's from Mara Carol. It's from Mara. Yes, please go purchase. If you're gonna purchase, purchase from her. She's a sweet friend of mine. And um, yes, they are these they're from her. And I just got them yesterday in the mail. They came out, if you didn't know, IOD came out with their new release. And um, so any of my um, if you see me use any IOD products, I purchase them from her. There you go. And she carries it all. So there's nothing from IOD that I don't, that she doesn't have. There you go. <gasps> Guys, look how super duper cute. Oh, I see, I see some edges I gotta get down. Hold on. Let me get these edges down. 
and then we'll dry it. And then let me just show you real quick how we're gonna finish this off. Now I thought these are, this would be pretty with some flowers inside of it. And so let me show you, look how cute. Look how cute. Now, if you wanted to make sure that, um, you know, if it's gonna be near any kind of water or anything like that, I do love, let me show you it. I uh, hope this is it. Yes, okay. Love this product. Let me show you right here. It's Paint Couture Extreme Guard Top Coat and Flat. This is, this is the, when they first, company first came out, that was for furniture. This is water resistant. So this would, if this got any kind of water on it, if I put this on there, it'd be water resistant. It's um, UVA protective, so the color's not gonna change and um and it's water based so it's, this is a great product this is also in my link tree below under all paint products so if you're looking for something for water resistant and it and tough use this now when i use this i to i take three thin coats three thin coats and um you're good to go so just an fyi okay so let's just dry this real quick. Now I got my glue gun going. We're just gonna add a little bit of flowers to this. Let me show you, look how cute. Now it's still wet, that's still wet. Let's just dry it a little bit, I don't wanna ruin it. So if you have any questions, and guys, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And you could always private message me on my Facebook page, on my business page, not on my personal page. All right, and also I wanted to let everybody also know we're going to be starting to decorate our Easter tree here. So if you want to send an ornament for our Easter tree, you can private message me. I will send you my address. And anyone who sends an ornament in for our Easter tree, it doesn't have to be Easter. It could be spring. It doesn't have to scream Easter. It could be spring. Um, you will get put in a drawing for a prize. So just an FYI. So if you want to, you want to get into the drawing for a prize. Send an ornament for our tree. Thanks, Jan, I appreciate it. So like I said, just an ornament for the tree. It doesn't have to scream Easter. It could scream spring <laughs> or even summer. So if you want to, just private message me and I will send you my address. I used to keep my address on my Facebook page, but um, you know, you got, some little crazies out there and um you know and i and the world's the world is not so kind all the time so i just want you fancy friends to have my address not not some of the crazy people okay hold on let me just um put this down here real quick all right Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to put some rope around here. I got some twine. I got my glue gun. We're ready to go. Let's put some twine around the top here. There we go. And where are we going with this? Where is it? Okay, so let's get our glue gun. Put that down. And we'll just start right there. Just like that. If you can see there, I'm just putting that in and then just waiting a minute for it to set up. And just put some glue around here, just a stick. There we go. And then we're just gonna put this rope around. That's gonna make it look really, really pretty. And then we're gonna add some flowers. Now you guys, I picked some out. You guys let me know what your thoughts, yay or nay. <gasps> Hello, Carol. Hello, Wendy. Thanks everybody for joining. I appreciate it. Okay, this is this is the new papers that came out on the De Decoupage Queen website by Clamabore, I think. That's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But uh, it's a they're they're a company um, that's from Italy. And um, she's, they have beautiful things on there. So just make sure that um, when you go on, you hit the drop down box and it'll pull you up. So you'll see that name underneath there. Okay, so let's just, there we go. And just go around. And every so often, put a little glue so it'll stay in place. Let's see. 
There we go. Thank you, Barb. Hello, Barb. How are you? Hello, Francis. Thanks for joining. Remember, guys, if you want to make sure that I, you know, not just me, but any of the other creators that you watch, that you get notifications and you come into their feed, you, um, they come into your feed. Um, Facebook now wants you to comment on the videos that they're doing. It doesn't have, you don't have to say hello. You could just say hello real quick, or you could just give an emoji, something like that, something to tell Facebook that you are interested in what they're doing. Because if you don't do that, we just found out that they are not going to put you in the feed or give you notifications. Had a lot of my fancy friends going, but I follow you and I turned on notifications and, and but they're like, I go, do you usually say nothing? No, I kind of just hang in the background. <laughs> and I love to do that too on other people's pages. You know, you just sit there real quiet and you watch them, you know, um, perform their magic of beautiful things that they're creating. And, um, but we just found that out. So if I find out stuff, guys, I'd like to share it with you. Thank you. Hello, Crafty Servings. How are you? Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Guys, if you don't know my friend Michelle from Crafty Servings, um, go check her page out. She's, uh, she's, she's wonderful. She does so many great things. There we go. All right, and I think that should be good. All right, so let me get my scissors out. And let's cut that off. Oh, I keep saying I gotta get myself some good knives. My knives, good scissors, material scissors. All right, there we go. So look how cute, let's see what the, that looks cute with that like that. And then my thought was a little bit of raffia. We gotta make a little bit of a bow here. Everything's gotta have a bow. Everything needs a bow. Let's put that over here. Let's cut this raffia. And then I have, let me show you what I got. Put that down there. I've got these little, these little things I thought maybe with the raffia, put them in there. Or maybe I've got these cute little black and white check little flowers right here. I don't know. I think they would be cute in there. So, uh. Let's get our bow going first and then we can attach those to that later. Okay. So let's make a little bow. There we go. And who else is here? Hello, Judy. Hello, Arlene. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. All right. And there we go. And let's go. There we go. Let's make it, let's double it up. I want it a little bit on the thicker side. All right, and then we're just gonna put this around here. It's gonna be cute. And then I have some flowers to go in it too. And you guys, uh, huh. I don't know if I want it on that side. I think I'm gonna put it on this side because the flowers are gonna be over on that side. Okay, so let's put it over here. Okay, so this is just raffia from, where did I get this from? I think from Michael's. Not Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I need to make a Hobby Lobby run, guys. I need some more florals. Actually, Michael's had some pretty florals the other day, so maybe just go back to Michael's. It's a lot closer to my house than an hour away. All right. And then just make a cute little bow. Just like so. And we'll see what it looks like. There we go. Look how cute. And that looks, that looks super duper cute. Okay, so let's cut this off here. We don't need that. We don't need that. And then what I'm thinking of is now putting these little, these little, these little flowers right there. And putting this from out, put this in here. Let's see. Um, we'll cut these. And stick them in there. Yeah, those look cute. Stick in there, stick it out just like so. And let's put these flowers in. Aren't these cute? They're the black and white gingham. Got them from, these are from Hobby Lobby in Papercraft. You can find these in Papercraft, guys. In the Papercraft section. There we go. Let's throw some more in there. Get them to me, you can't have enough flowers. This glue gets so hot that it takes a little bit to set up. And yeah, the other one. Hey, Teresa, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate you. Thanks so much. There we go. 
There, that looks cute, right? Isn't that adorable? I love it. I love it. Then, um, now if I'm going to um, display it, I would definitely keep this, guys. And I would probably display it with this down here like that. So I don't know. There's got to be something on here, I think. So hmm, I'm not sure yet, but we're going to figure that out. But I have some other flowers, too, that I thought might be pretty in here. So let's see. These are from Michael's the other day. No, they weren't from Michael's. They were from Hobby Lobby. They're from Hobby Lobby. And I just thought maybe they would be pretty. Let's see. Just coming out of there just like so. I don't know. They might be a little bit too big. I don't mind. No, they look pretty. They look pretty in there. So look how cute. Hold on. We got some glue strings, guys. Glue strings. There we go. So there. It looks pretty with the yellow flowers hanging out of it. Just another splash of color. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. Thank you, Susan. Thanks so much. Now remember guys, you can change it up whatever your color theme is for your house. If you don't have the yellow, and for me for this spring, I'm gonna be doing greens, whites and green, green, greens, creams and yellows. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate you doing that for me. Um, but it's cute, right? <gasps> Look how adorable. How adorable. And then I would just, I would display it with this hanging off to the side, just like that. Maybe this needs a little bow on there. I don't know. You know, your, your pieces look at you when, you know, after you're done, you kind of look how to play with it. Maybe a little bow up there too. I'm not sure. You love that? Good. Thank you. I'm so glad. I am so glad. So let me show you. There it goes. So this was Decoupage Queen. If you just joined me, um, let me show you what paper it was. It was, uh, where are we? Which is that? Let me show you. Oh, maybe I don't know. I know I got a bunch of these. I got two of everything because I knew I wanted to double more than one project of everything. Okay. So this is the paper, what it looked like before. That is it. Peter Henderson and company. And it's. TT62. So remember, the link down below uh, is my link tree. Open up my link tree and you will find it, Decoupage Queen, and it's underneath there. And then the stamps is going to be tomorrow, guys. I'm going to be on Craft Around the Clock. Look, okay, look, I'm in the, I'm in the, in the flowers. <laughs> I'm going to be on craft around the clock tomorrow. I think it's 145. I'm not exactly sure of the time, but I will be posting it. And then tomorrow we're going to be using the stamps from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara, the brand new IOD stamps. So come and join me tomorrow and while we use the new stamps. All right, everybody. So thanks everybody for joining me today. Thank you, Carrie, my sister, for um, getting me this gorgeous um, old vintage milk container. I appreciate you for always looking out for me and getting me all cool stuff. So thank you, everybody. And guys, if we can keep our fancy friends in our prayers, I would appreciate it. Um, our friend Ter uh, Terry, um, if we can still, if we can keep her granddaughter in your prayers, um, I would appreciate it. And Mary from Ocean Breeze and Me, um, her her husband had an operation and he's on the road to recovery. So if we can keep him in your prayers too, and um, prayers to uh, anybody else in our fancy friends family that needs it. And if guys, if you want to be on the fancy friends prayer list, you could just private message me and um, let me know who you would like to say a prayer for, and I will let everybody here know. So just private message me on my business page, not on my private page, because I never even go on there and I'll never see it, so. All right, thank you, everybody. I so appreciate it. And blessings to you all. Mwah. Go out and enjoy the rest of your day with your family and your friends, and um, I will see you tomorrow on Craft Around the Clock. All right, everybody.